Hello viewers, for DIYers here, back with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be showing you how to remove the magnet from the rear of a speaker. These are the old speakers from my truck, and as you can see, they're in rough shape. They have strong magnets that can be reused on other projects if you wish. These are two-way speakers, so they have a slightly different design than compared to a one-way speaker. The tweeter is in the center, so it will need to be removed. A one-way speaker, on the other hand, just has a dust cover. First is removing the tweeter. Designs may vary, these just snap into place. Once removed, there are two wires on the rear which need to be cut. Here's the tweeter assembly. Now is removing the speaker surround. These are just glued into place. You can see mine are completely separated. To remove the cone, spider, and coil, use a standard screwdriver to break the glue bond between the spider and basket. The basket is just the metal exterior frame of the speaker. Depending on the strength of the glue, you may have to assist it all the way around. Cut the two wires on the voice coil. This can be done from the outside, behind the terminals. A view of the cone, spider and coil once removed. The wires for the tweeter run on the outside of the magnet. There is a portion of the cover left. Use a standard screwdriver, remove the cover. Using a round punch, remove the insert which is used to snap the tweeter into place. If yours is a one-way speaker, you'll most likely not have this feature, so you can skip on ahead to the next step. Here's the center piece once removed. The magnet has front rear caps. It can be removed with those pieces remaining in place depending on its future application. There are four peened over areas like rivets. These can be ground down or drilled if you wish. I wasn't having much luck removing the assembly when it was cold. This can depend on the speaker quality, it may have a better quality adhesive used. I had to result to using a heat gun to soften up the adhesive to break down the assembly. Here I'm using my OEM Tools 24498 dual temperature heat gun which always helps me get the job done whenever heat is required. Get the area hot, but not a temperature exceeding 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Depending on the type of magnet used, excessive heat can damage the strength, so be mindful of that. Using gloves or a rag, flip the speaker over where it's elevated on the edge of the magnet so you're able to pop off the rear cap. It's easier if you have non-ferrous metal. One bar I have is a piece of brass and the other one is a steel block. The magnet tends to stick to the steel, which can be a little tedious to work with. Using a punch, hit it on the center portion. This will remove the center portion and cap as they're one piece. If you were to use a hammer directly on this piece, the hammer will stick to the magnet, causing some problems. And as you can see, the portion has been removed. Again, is heating the area. We're on to the final part of removing the magnet. Using a chisel with a sharp edge, separate the area between the magnet and cap on the rear of the basket. You may need to work around a couple areas depending on its bond. Once removed, here is the magnet ready to be used for another application. Any leftover glue adhesive can be cleaned off using a solvent like a wax and grease remover. It's also worth noting, magnets are brittle and can chip or crack easy. Take your time and be patient when removing. Just a recap of the whole process using the other speaker. First is removing that tweeter, unclip it, then cut the wires in the rear. The surrounding was already removed here. Moving on to the next step, pull the comb back and then separate the spider from the basket using a standard screwdriver. Cut the wires to the voice coil from behind the terminals. The voice coil was stuck in place, so I assisted it with a bit of prying. Remove the cap from the tweeter wires on the rear. This time I cut off the access wires, but it's not needed. This will just stop them from getting in my way. Using a round punch, knock out the center piece where the tweeter clips onto. Next is heating up the rear using a heat gun. Elevate the rear of the speaker by the edges of the magnet. Using a punch again, pop off that rear cap. Again, heat up that other bonded area of the magnet. Careful not to overheat it where it damages the strength of the magnet. Using a chisel, break that bond by going around in between the magnet and rear cap. Once removed, here you can see the magnet. Unfortunately, I did chip this one during the removal process. 
New videos released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me. Leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.